Hello everyone and welcome <clears throat> welcome to this uh, audio podcast. This uh, audio podcast as part of a research and report. This audio podcast as part of a Lobostics report. Uh, this audio podcast uh, uh, this audio podcast overview as part of a Storm Lobostics productions. So today we're uh, looking at uh, sort of retrospective works, um, retrospective works in around from 2000 originally uh originally from around 2000 and uh 2003 2003 2004 and then uh and then uh and then sort of uh where uh where works was was uh sort of uh was up where works had been updated uh in around 2023 2023 uh and so uh in this overview sort of a uh i look at uh works in around chemokine uh chemokine and chemokine receptor expression in uh allograph uh, acute allograph rejection or aar uh and uh a retrospective uh this audio podcast uh, uh this audio podcast uh overview is part of a storm lobostics collaborative so to begin with a bit of contents uh, so introduction a bit of introduction uh, a, a look at uh, a Q allograph uh, rejection or AAR a look at chemokine uh, uh, chemokine receptors and leukocyte trafficking leukocyte trafficking in uh, acute allograph rejection or AAR uh, look at uh, aims and objectives look at transplant tolerance at chemokine receptors identified in human acute allograft rejection and look at uh, transplant uh, transplant immunobiology and antigen and antigen uh, presentation and looking at uh, look at also I look at sort of a chemokine receptor family uh, chemokine receptor family and then uh, some conclusion and uh, uh, and uh, some references references or uh, citations and also, and or citations towards the uh the uh to, toward the latter the latter part of uh, this uh, uh overview so to begin with some intro or uh, introduction so uh, in amongst renal transplantation uh, renal transplantation uh um a renal transplantation in context on, in, 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 in context of solid or a solid organ transplantation it is a preferred modality uh, for recipients with uh, uh, a, 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 a preferred modality for recipients uh, diagnosed diagnosed with a form uh, with uh, with uh, diagnosed with uh, uh, end stage end stage uh, kidney disease or end stage renal disease for the purpose of this overview uh, viewers and listeners end stage renal disease uh, end stage renal disease has been abbreviated as ESRD. Uh, in amongst the literature, um, there has been an, uh, a terminology update where end stage renal disease is e is referred to as uh, end as end stage kidney disease or ESKD. Um, however, it's a preferred modality. Uh, a preferred a preferred modality is renal transplantation in those diagnosed with uh, uh with uh, esrd who are uh, who also um who also uh, are good uh are also uh, are also sort of good surgical uh surgical risks uh and able to comply uh, uh comply with with uh immunosuppression uh, therapies or ists uh clinical transplantation uh, has advanced significantly with most transplant with most transplant institutions uh, institutions or, hosp- or or uh, or hospital environs reporting at least one year re- uh, at least uh, one year uh, renal allograft prognosis rates of, of better than 80% uh, however nevertheless rejection rejection um uh, and um a, pr- a progressive loss of al- uh, of allografts over time uh, over time continue over the last decade or so many reports um, reports of chemokine 
chemokine and chemokine expression in context of clinical and uh, uh, in, cl in context of clinical and or experimental allograft uh, allograft rejection have been have been documented. Uh, however, there are often numerous ligands ligands uh, for a given uh, for a given uh, chemokine receptor where re uh, for a given uh, a four given chemokine receptor and so research looking at um looking at specific chemokine receptors has uh, been increasingly uh, pivotal <clears throat> so looking at uh, acute allograft rejection or aar so acute cellular rejection is mediated by lymphocytes that is white t cells uh, which have uh, become allo activated that have uh, that have been activated by uh, by the uh, by by the allograft uh, by the allograft uh, against uh, a go against a donor a donor transplant uh, transplant antigens uh, in vivo stimulation of allo reactive t cells takes place uh, takes place primarily uh, primarily in the peripheral in peripheral lymphoid tissues of uh, of recipient of recipient although intragraft sensitive intragraft uh, intragraft sensors sensitization may occur uh, the strongest a uh, strongest stimulus uh, a strongest the strongest stimulus is provided by donor dendritic cells also referred to as passenger passenger leukocytes in the auto uh, in the uh, in uh, in the allograft or within the allograft which will Enter circulation and end up on the lymphoid tissues of the recipient. These dendritic, the dendritic cells function as antigen, antigen presented cells, uh, and they provide a strong stimulus, stimulus of human leukocyte antigen or HLA class two reactive CD4 cells, which can stimulate the growth and differentiation of uh, HLA. Class one reactive CD8 uh, CD8 uh, cyto uh, CD8 uh, CD8 positive cytotoxic uh, cytotoxic uh, cytotoxic uh, T cells uh, cytotoxic T cells uh, cytotoxic T cells or uh, CD8 uh, CD8 lymphocytes. Uh, Allo-reactive lymphocytes. Uh, Allo-reactive uh, uh, lymphocytes then enter circulation and they uh, and they will react with the allograft vascular uh, vascular endothelium, the allograft vascular endothelium and the primary the primary target of the initial stage of cellular reje uh, cellular rejection. So now looking at chemokine uh, receptors and leukocyte trafficking uh, in uh, AAR. So in amongst a renal transplantation, the occurrence of one or more episodes of AAR is a major determinant of graft prognosis or survival. Most episodes of acute allograft rejection are caused by cell-mediated processes uh, and require the infiltration of alloactive allo allo T cells in uh, into or within uh, the engrafted uh, within the engrafted organ. Over 40 inducible chemokines, uh, chemokines and 20 inducible chemokine receptors have been identified, have been identified, uh, have been identified and uh, and uh, and have been uh, documented, uh, documented in amongst uh, in amongst literature, in in amongst uh, in amongst uh, literature, uh, retro uh, retrospectively in. In vitro investigations on responses of uh, activated T cells to inflammatory chemokines suggest substantial redundancy in this system, with multiple chemokines produced at tissue sites binding to multiple receptors on circulating on circulating leukocytes. <clears throat> chemokines binding, <clears throat> excuse me, chemokines binding the two receptors. On leukocytes mediate the um, mediate the behind the scenes plays between antigen presenting cells and host T cells in lymphoid tissues. The actual here and now to propagate an immune response that acutely destroys a graft. So in around uh, in, a, in as part of this overview, 
The aims and objectives were to provide uh, are to provide a respect a retrospective overview of chemokine and chemokine receptor e respect, uh, receptor expression in acute allograft rejection or AAR in context of human renal transplantation and transplant immunobiology. So <clears throat> looking at transplant tolerance of approximately around 18 uh, chemokine receptors, at least three, uh, three have appeared to um, uh, play important roles in rejection in experimental in experimental investigation. Thus, uh, thus C CCR1, CCR1, CXCR3, and CCR5. In experimental research or uh, investigations, the uh, chemokine receptor antagonists, uh, uh, antagonists are more effective when used with low dose calcineurin inhibitors or CNIs than when administered as monotherapy. It has been transparent um, from retrospective blockade investigations of chemokine receptors that uh, of chemokine receptors that have which have become uh, which have become essential uh, essential as an addition to the therapeutic of therapeutic or pharmacotherapy um, preclusion uh, preclusion of uh, acute allograft rejection. Now looking at chemokines and receptors identified in human uh, in human uh, acute allograft rejection, so the combination of clinical expression of certain chemokine receptors during rejection within with the compelling with compelling evidence from rodent investigations using a uh, knockout knockout murine a murine a murine or mice and or neutralizing uh, monoclonal antibodies has led to the consideration of pharma uh, pharmacotherapy targeting of a CXCR3 and CCR5. To this end, uh, ph uh, pharma, uh, uh, pharmaceutics have uh, been developing, have been developing, have, have been developing and have developed a molecule, a small molecule antagonist and humanized monoclonal antibodies that have been tested in preclinical uh, investigations either alone or in conjunction in conjunction with mainstream uh, IST or immunosuppression, uh, the first one of the first peer-reviewed data on such work in non-human primate um, primate allograft recipient had been had been available uh, following uh, following investigations from in around two thousand and three. Uh, in this in this slide here, uh, uh, in this slide here as part of this overview, just to just to give a, a, a sort of a depiction, if you like, of the chemokine receptor, the chemokine and chemokine receptor family. So, so where where within with within the the within the the main the main the main circ uh, circul uh, circulated uh, uh, circulated area, you have different chemokine uh, chemokine uh, chemokine uh, chemokine receptors. And then on the outer part, uh, on the outer part, you have uh, uh, you have uh, ke uh, chemokines, uh, chemokine, uh, chemokine receptor sort of ligands, uh, the ligands, uh, if you like. So, for example, if we jump straight to uh, C uh, CCR1, CCR1 uh, within the within the circulated circulated depiction uh, part of the depiction, you have CCR where CCR1 is chemotactic. Chemotactic for MIP uh, MIP uh, one alpha MCP uh, MCP four rant uh, rantes rantes MIP uh, MIP five uh, MPIF uh, uh, one M, uh, HCC uh, one and MCP three and then uh, with with uh, CXCR three. Yeah, see so CXCR3 within the within the within the in the within the circ uh, circulated depiction you have uh, where uh, C where CXCR3 is chemotactic for IP10, uh, a MIG, MIG uh, and ITAC, uh, and with um, uh, with uh, uh, with uh, C uh, uh, with uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, with oh sorry with C, uh, CCR5 uh, CCR uh, CCR5 you have uh, within the within the circulated de depiction 
you have CCR5 uh, chemotactic for MIP MIP uh, one alpha, MIP one beta, Rantes, uh, Rantes and MCP two. And within the literature, within the literature uh, in around in around solid solid organ transplantation works. And particularly and particularly and in some part specifically in around renal renal transplantation and solid organ organ transplantation documented uh, literature and works and in around cardiac uh, uh, cardiac uh, uh, cardiac uh, transplantation or uh, uh, in around cardiovascular uh, cardio trans uh, cardiac uh, solid organ transplantation there is there have been works that uh, that have looked uh, have delved into into the uh the into chem into chemokines and the recept uh, chemokine and chemokine receptor uh, families um to uh, to a more sort of uh, extensive on a more extensive on a more extensive uh sort of uh, basis uh in in line to uh, in line to uh, identifying sort of a more, uh, uh, identifying sort of more more um, pathways uh, for for pharmaceutics and pharmacotherapy to treat uh, to treat and identify um, um, pathways more so uh, to um, preclude um, preclude uh, the use even <clears throat> the use uh, even of um, of um, of sort of the the potent some of the more potent uh, potent ISTs uh, on on uh, on uh, 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 on on sort of uh, on uh, on listed uh, sort of pharmacotherapy pharmacotherapies for uh, poor, for for recipients uh, for recipients are uh, uh, who have uh, who have for example received uh, solid organ uh, transplants uh, sorry, for, uh, in those uh, recipients who have uh, received solid organ transplants <clears throat> so now looking at uh, sort of uh, renal transplant immuno immunobiology and antigen presentation. So organ transplantation has a has a, a, a has a long history, beginning with uh, skin autografting, uh, skin autografting in India during the sixth century BCE. Uh, the procedure uh, procedure uh, entered Western medicine uh, during the early Renaissance and uh, is described. Uh, in text on the restoration of, uh, for example, the nose, the lips, the ears, ears by works by um, by uh, works early works by Gaspar Taglacozzi, uh, Taglacozzi uh, in around fifteen uh, forty five uh, uh, fifteen forty five to fifteen ninety nine. Uh, in nineteen o six, however, Ma um, Matteo Matteo Jabule. Uh, Matthew Matthew uh, Jabale um, carried out the first well the first attempts at, at human renal transplantation or human kidney transplantation. Jabale uh, used swine used swine and goat kidneys uh, and that's the most or joined uh, joined joined surgically uh, jo where uh, and that's the most uh, and that's the most or joined uh, uh, where, where, kid, where kidneys uh, or organs were anastomosed or joined surgically to blood vessels of the uh, of the arm of recipients with chronic renal failure, uh, which functioned for approximately one hour. In 1911, uh, Hammond, uh, Hammond and Sutton of Philadelphia, uh, <coughs> Philadelphia performed the first human to human kidney transplant with transient with transient success so uh in uh in uh in sort of the conclusions of this as part of this uh overview uh in a clinical representation uh by by work by works uh works by uh hancock uh hancock and uh contemporaries uh, Hancock and uh, contemporaries T cells within uh, within bronchial bronchial uh, bronchial alveolar 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 lavage or BAL of lung transplanted recipients undergoing rejection episodes. Evidence of CXCR three positive uh, positive uh, was evidence of CXCR3 positive cells were 
was exhibited um, uh, with a strong uh, in vitro chemotactive response to IP10. Graft, uh, graft or grafted in infiltrate, in, infiltrating macrophages expressed IP10 and alveolar macrophages were uh, also expressed and secreted and secreted IP10 at levels capable of inducing chemotaxis um, of a CXCR3 positive T cell line. IP10 production was upregulated by interferon gamma and high levels of CXCR3 ligands uh, were verified with BAL fluids of recipients with rejection episodes. Overall research retrospectively informs that there are directly there are direct effects of chemokines on recruitment, uh, proliferation, uh, proliferation and activation uh, of vascular smooth muscle and other non-hemopoietic cells in addition to the mediation of leukocyte recruitment. Induction of CXCR3, CXCR3 and IP10 uh, mRNA, mRNA has been associated with uh, AAR, acute allograft rejection, aligned to human renal transplant immunobiology. So on this slide are some are some uh, references or citations that listeners are more than welcome to are more than welcome to access uh, through uh, through databases online to identify similar works uh, similar works uh, as well more intricate the more intricate works uh, in around uh, in around uh, uh, in around aspects of this uh, of this uh, overview. That draws this uh, audio podcast and this audio audio podcast this is over overview as uh, to to a close. Uh, this has been uh, this has been uh, an audio podcast as part of a research and report. Uh, th- uh, an audio podcast as part of a lobotics report and this audio podcast as part of a storm lobotics productions.